Hey everyone and welcome to the channel. My name is Ash and I am here with a review of Blank on the Nintendo Switch. Now this was released on the 14th of February 2023 from publisher Gearbox Publishing and they were kind of to send me a copy for this review so big thank you to them for that. Now Blank is honestly an absolutely beautiful little game that I've had a really nice time playing with my son. So this game sees a young wolf cub and a fawn have to sort of come together as friends when they're not really friends in life because uh, basically a sudden snowstorm happens and they basically end up separated from their families. And they both have to sort of work together to follow the footprints of their families that have been left behind in the snow. Now, straight up, this game looks fantastic. So it's all in black and white. It's completely hand-drawn originally on paper in 2D before they made it into 3D, which it looks really great. Like, the art style is absolutely fantastic. And everything sort of has a lot of detail, to, despite that it is just in black and white, and it was previously 2D. The environments look lush, but also detailed and everything. You can see what everything is. There's a variety of different animals as well. And the story is sweet and like heartfelt, but it does play out, obviously, sort of text-free. There's no sort of talking or anything. It's just like a bark now and again and that sort of stuff. Now, this game is meant to be played cooperatively. So each player plays as um, one of the two animals. And as you're going through all of these environments, there are some light puzzles that you have to complete. At times, you will have to work together. So like the form will have to be used as like a stepping stone for the, uh, the cub to get up to higher places. Uh, the fawn can push things, the cub can like pull doors and stuff like that. And you basically have to face all these obstacles together. Now, I really enjoyed this game. I played it same screen with my son. He played on one pad, I played on another. I believe it's also got online play as well, which is pretty nice. Now, the game isn't exceptionally long, so you can get through the entire game in... About three hours, roughly, it took us three, just over three hours for a single playthrough. But it is a beautiful little game, and you should definitely sort of give it a go if you've got someone to play with. Imagine um, it takes two, but more like a beautiful sort of indie experience. That's what this comes across as. I mean, it probably isn't even an indie game as such. It's published by Gearbox, but it comes across like a load of indie games that I've played over the time and it's just it's just lovely and it was such a nice sort of experience to play with my young son it wasn't too difficult for him to play um every now and again he struggled trying to get the characters to do the right action at the right point which you have to sometimes be studying it like the exact spot required and it's a bit unforgiving in that aspect but in terms of the actual gameplay it's it's really really nice and it never punishes you you never like die if you do something wrong or anything like that i liked how you interact with the other animals there's a section early on where you have to look after these little like baby geese that the, there's like um the adult geese is leading them along but there's like a wind blowing them so you have to sort of protect them from the wind and stuff like that which i thought was really sweet all that sort of stuff as the story like progresses. Now, like I say, the game is very simple to use. There's only two buttons plus your movement. There's an interact button and then there's sort of like a jump and run button. And yeah, that's it. it it's really, really nice. I really recommend it. It's one of those games that you always see and you're like, mm, I really should play that. And you never get around to it. Well, this is one of those games you should make time for because it's beautiful to look at. It's emotional and like it's just so sweet story wise. And it's not difficult enough that you can't play it with anyone in the family. Now, like I say, it's available right now on Nintendo Switch, priced at £13.99. It's also available on Steam as well.
So check it out. Hit that like button. Hit subscribe. And we'll see you soon for more content. Bye for now.